since uh, recording in New York, I decided to change topics and to record everybody together in the same room to let the sound mix. Jazz was an expression of freedom. We reduced it into a style of music. We killed it. We turned it into a commodity, into a section in our music. Oh. Jazz is the ability to reinvent yourself. Every night, every tune, it's a struggle, but it is that unique desire that made jazz into an energetic, beautiful music, but when you listen to John Paul Train, or Miles, or Oscar Peterson, Duke Ellington, you can hear the search. You can hear the yearning for beauty. And this is why my music is very romantic. This is the romantic church. I converted. I am an essentialist. I don't understand what is this all nonsense of moving forward. For me to move forward is to find the truth here. Love, nostalgia, romanticism, to read Plato or Aristo or pre-Socrates, Socratic thinkers, and to find that nothing changed. I'm getting older, I'm becoming more and more nostalgic, but you're also getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it. I produce an instrumental album, I try to create a statement that is aesthetic and poetic and meaningful by form of a correspondence between the titles and the songs. The song, the melody, the simplicity. When you listen to Charlie Parker, it's so melodic. When you listen to Coltrane, the energy is so transparent. The band, the quartet. When you listen to Duke, to Johnny Hodges. When you listen to Ravel, when you listen to Bach. It's, it's fucking clever. But it is simple, it is transparent. And this is where the beauty rests, waiting to be witnessed, listened to, perceived.
aconteceu-te? Aconteceu-me. And this is the role of the artist. To let you an access to yourself. The whistleblower. We have a lot of whistleblowers around now. Assange, Snowden, and Vanunu, and Ostrovsky. To be a whistleblower is to tell the truth. Truth awakening that you find within yourself, truthfulness that you know that something is right, it's beautiful. And in order to celebrate such sensations, you have to be authentic. Can you be authentic? In an era dominated by political correctness, can you think for yourself? Can you think authentically? Can you close your eyes and say, this is right and this is wrong? No. Why? Because you cannot whistle when you see a beautiful woman. Because you suppress your most authentic inclinations. And this is the real meaning of being in the world. Exercising, challenging the boundaries of freedom. We are thrown into life and then we struggle for decades to make it into a meaningful event. To fill it with meaning. Let us be. Let us say what we want to say. Let us revise who we are. Let us revise history. This is the true meaning of being in the world. This is the true meaning of liberation. <laughs>